So as of this recording, earlier in the past week, Hasbro teased that there was going to be an epic drop on Hasbro Pulse. Could it be the upcoming Fortnite line, new information on G.I. Joe, or perhaps that Galvatron figure that's been leaked to fan sites and stirring quite a controversy? With the emphasis on epic, it definitely is going to be something very worthwhile- Oh. Oh, it's just Baby Yoda. Okay. Well, all I can say is... Hello Doomers and Doomettes, I'm your host Didi, and lately Hasbro's been having a real reveal problem. It hasn't been happening to all brands, but for the past year, especially within the realm of the Transformers community in particular, there's been a real issue with factory theft, poor product announcements, misleading marketing material, and more. Before we get into that, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to CJ Gamma 77 who helped me immensely by kindly creating that intro for me. If you need an intro done for your channel, I'd recommend reaching out to him. I'll give a link to his channel in the description below. And as always, if you enjoy the content on this channel and would like to see more, I'd ask that you please share feedback in the form of comments or even subscribe if you want to help this channel grow. It really means a lot to me, and it also helps me to determine what kind of content should be made. There's also going to be a Discord group soon, so stay tuned for that. With the house cleaning out of the way, let's dive right in. So earlier in the week of this recording, Hasbro announced that, as they put it, an epic drop was going to happen on Tuesday, March 23rd, and that premium members would have early access to it from 1pm to 2pm Eastern Time. This caused a lot of speculation in the collecting community, as the official Hasbro reveal well has been a little dry lately, presumably as content is withheld for Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest on April 9th. Speculation was all over due to the vagueness in the email. Some individuals were expecting Fortnite reveals based on the emphasis on the word epic, others were expecting Transformer news as there hasn't been a Fan First Friday for Transformers in quite some time, and as a way to combat some recent leaks regarding a new figure, we'll come back to that. Now this has been an ongoing and growing issue for Hasbro lately, so I'd like to start off by focusing on March 23rd and then exploring the larger issue. So the big reveal comes along and what do we have? Another animatronic Grogu. While I'm sure there were some who were interested in this, many others felt a little bit let down, and for several reasons. We're well over a year into the Baby Yoda fad, and at this stage, merchandise for the little green guy has been plentifully available, completely unlike how it was a year ago. To make matters worse, Hasbro boasted about its early access starting at 1pm, but websites already had it available at that time as well, and even sent out notices for it. The problem with this is, in order to have Hasbro Pulse's early access window, you must be a premium member, which means paying $50 to them on the website. Premium membership was initially free with a purchase on the website when it was initially launched, and that membership recently expired for all individuals who obtained it that way. So at this point, in order to be in the Premier Access Club, you need to pay them an additional $50. Now granted, that does include some other benefits such as free shipping, but what good is free shipping on a website that constantly delays products where other retailers get it months in advance? But hold on, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. Let's shift back. The reason many speculated on this being a Transformers announcement was due to the recent leaks of figures being circulated online most notably the highly anticipated Kingdom Leader Class Galvatron figure. These photos came from figures stolen from the factory and essentially sold to a secret leak club. Individuals then spent the next few days posting images of the figure in poor quality, which led to strong controversy in the fan community. People were upset over the figure proportions, where others claimed it was merely bad photographs. It became such a fiasco that it was appearing none of the photos had any consistency to them. Hey, maybe Galvatron is one of those custom made-to-order figures. This isn't the only example of a major figure leak before any official announcement, and it seems to be a growing problem in the past year. The first wave of Kingdom Deluxe figures were leaked to YouTube reviewers in advance of the official PulseCon announcement, and and the same goes for the Core Class Rat Trap. This was before any official tease for the line and was the first news many people got. Cyclonus was another figure leaked heavily in advance, along with the Netflix version of Voyager Class Soundwave, as well as the Top Gun Maverick figure, all appearing in blurry photos shared with little context. And as mentioned in my video regarding the problems with the G.I. Joe Classified series line, this is extended to some other brands as well, such as when the Classified series line itself was spoiled due to eBay leaks a week before Hasbro announced it at Toy Fair. Now, it's impossible to stop all leaks. The usual list listings coming from big box retailers such as Walmart always seem to come, though at least that could be mitigated with the use of code names. This is typically how Star Wars Black Series and Marvel Legends is handled, but these full figure leaks have been more and more prevalent. Why and how do they harm the community? Well, there's a couple things. Just like any problems, there's some things that they aren't at fault for and others which present more problematic issues. The first of which is something that's definitely affecting every one of us right now, with 
the lack of major events such as New York Toy Fair, San Diego Comic Con, and more, the traditional reveal schedule is no doubt very out of sync. This is actually why we're seeing more of these Fan First Friday streams, and it's no doubt that the upcoming Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest is a response to the cancellation of Toy Fair back in February. These major product reveals need to fit in somewhere for the company. The cancellation of San Diego Comic Con last year led to PulseCon, and due to the second cancellation this year, it's highly likely that we'll see another PulseCon later in the year, likely in the fall. The reveal schedule spreads even thinner when you factor in things such as Mando Mondays, Fan First Fridays, and other smaller events such as the Walmart Collector Con, which I'm sure no one in the community speaks highly of. What was initially only a handful of major events for reveals has now spread so thin into small reveals almost every other week for different brands. While this has the added benefit of being more spread out content, the downside is very late reveals for some brands. High value licensed brands such as Marvel and Star Wars seem to get the red carpet treatment, usually coming in first and having more stream dates, where brands such as Transformers and G.I. Joe have a little bit more sparse appearances. While figures were initially revealed in prototype stages, figures are now being revealed much closer to their actual dates of production, as seen by how close we received leaked copies online. It's definitely unlike Star Wars figures, which in many cases have image renders prior to a production sample way out in advance. The ability to see figures produced first rather than an official announcement seems to incentivize the leaker club and promotes a desire to own these figures that the masses can't have or haven't even seen just yet. So what kind of other harm do leaked figures cause? Well, in the case of Galvatron, just look at the community backlash on websites such as TFW2005. People are arguing back and forth over what is the true version of the figure, with some saying the figure looks bad no matter what, and others reacting negatively to that, stating that people are judging it too soon. And we've been seeing these images for well over a week at this point, with some even claiming that people are editing the photos just to troll the community. And that doesn't even begin to get into the real world issues caused by stolen figures. According to the Transformers Slag podcast, this kind of factory leaking has caused people to be fired and others to lose their jobs as factory issues have resulted in Hasbro changing factories. If you'd like to listen to him go a little bit more in depth to that, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. This sort of stuff can have real effects on others. So what can Hasbro do? Perhaps if they recognize that the spread out nature of these reveals is coming a bit too close, they can course correct and reveal things a little bit more accordingly. It's no doubt that these Wave 3 Kingdom figures will probably come out around the summer, and if Wave 4 comes out around the fall period, we may begin to see the next chapter of the Transformers brand in December of this year, just as Kingdom first appeared in December of 2020. And if Hasbro decides to hold off reveals for that until late September again due to another Comic-Con cancellation, it's quite possible we'll see a repeat of the Kingdom leaks once more, and people will show off in-hand photos prior to announcement. Perhaps they could also do what Marvel Legends does, teasing select figures in a wave before the full reveal. But I think these leaks have proven that these longer periods of waiting for reveals has encouraged more leaking in secretive communities who are looking for attention. Now, what can we do? I'm sure it'd be a bit hypocritical to say to avoid all leaks. Let's face it, we have an addiction to plastic and we're always looking for that next fix. News will always spread like wildfire. But maybe let's keep in mind that a lot of this stems from stolen goods, from individuals not necessarily looking to share with the community, but rather boost their own views by being first to market. And I mean that in a general sense without referring to anyone in particular. But maybe we ourselves could try to express some patience and hold back on that knee-jerk reaction to things, especially when it's possible that people are blatantly trolling fans just for attention. It's a really messy situation, and hopefully Hasbro can start to course correct these problems in the future. Especially with the upcoming Fan Fest on April 9th, only time will truly tell if they can adapt. And you know, regardless of how it is, we'll be here on the 9th to talk about it. Place your bets now, ladies and gentlemen. I have a bad feeling about this. That's all I had for this topic at the time being. If you made it this far, I really appreciate your interest in my content. If you have any thoughts on the growing leak problem Hasbro is facing, or if there's anything you'd like to see addressed in the future, please feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, I would immensely appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel. Your support really means a lot to me. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.